Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 29. Inside this video session guys, we will see about Happy.js. This is another framework for Node.js application. So inside last videos guys, we had seen about the uses of Express with EJS templating engine. Express is one of the popular framework for Node.js what we had discussed so far. Now in the frameworks of list, we have happy.js, koa and many more. So inside this video, we are going to use another framework of Node.js something happy.js. So we had some concept about Express what we had used inside previous videos. So from this video, we are going to use a uh, fewer videos for happy.js and we will see that how can we make a server by using the concept of this happy.js. So if we go to the official website of this framework, so back to Chrome, now this is all about HTTPS happy.dev. Now inside this, we can find about the all documentation and also about the features list right here inside the deeply written article inside this official website. Also if we want to see about how can we code or how can we start a server, we can see all the codes integrated inside this website. So if I click on this get started with happy. And inside this, we can find about getting started, overview, installing happy, creating a server, adding routes and many more. So if I scroll down, now we can see that if we want to install happy to a node application as a framework, so we need to install only npm install and this is the path. So by following this article or by code snippets guys actually we can install happy to our node application so let's see about how can we install our inside this code editor node application so back to terminal let's install our framework first so we have simply command called npm install this is all about happy and happy it will create a folder something other happy inside our node packages folder sorry node modules folder and we are going to save as a dependency inside package.json pressing enter now we can see that the processing of downloading package is starting Now successfully we are installing about happy framework inside our node application so we have to wait a little bit to install this package completely to our application. And successfully we have downloaded that. So let's start our server next. So this is all about nodemon and instead of site.js now I'm going to make a web.js or simply back here and let's say that all about happy.js. Let's say user happy.js. This is the file that we have created. Now back to terminal. Let's say nodemon u happy.js. Now inside this file actually we had not written any piece of code. So back to our code editor, open about the file. So the first line of this file is something let's say const. This should be let's say happy equal to require and we need to add from this node modules folder all about happy. We can see about the folder and inside this we need to include that. So let's say add the rate happy and this is the file what we have linked inside this. Now let's say that in the next we are going to create a server. So let's say const server equal to and we have called happy and it has a method called server. Inside this we need to pass an object and inside this we have to pass some fewer properties inside this object. So the first it should be something host. So let's say host 
we are going to use right now for the local host and for the port let's say that we are going to use something 4000 port so successfully we have created a instance of server so if we write about the lines of comments so this is all about inclusion package and here all about let's say creating server instance and finally we need to add few lines of code to start our server so let's say server dot start and I'm going to use some promises function so then inside this arrow function and let's see all about console.log let's say server is running let's add and here I'm going to use call the server this is the server variable and it's not server actually if I copy pasting it here this is all about server variable so server dot info dot uri now again let's say that we have some errors so we need to catch those errors as well so error and we are going to use error functions here right well so inside this let's say that console dot log error and also we are going to use called the process and this is a default package of node modules or the node application and by the help of this package we are going to exit that so in case of any error simply we need to exit or before exit we need to console error inside our console window so all we have done now so if we back to terminal now as we can see that right here about piece of code we have no codes at all inside this file after adding our server related code right here what we can see that creating an instance and starting a server automatically behind the scene nodemon started the server and it listened all the requests right here inside this local host and 4000 port so if i back to editor and let's add some routes so here we had started our server so it started server and inside this and to add some routes so let's say add routes and let's say server dot route and inside this we have fewer properties inside this object and something called method and we are going to use called the get request type here we need to pass the path so let's say path let's say for the home page and here we need to actually handle that path something we have a handle function so let's say handler handler itself a property so handler and this is all about using arrow function and finally inside this handler we need to write console.log or simply let's return within s3 tag let's say that welcome to happy dot js framework home page now if we save all these changes back to browser and if i listen let's say local host and for the 4000 port now as we can see that welcome to happy.js framework homepage so successfully guys by using other framework apart from express we have created our server and listen our first route at the browser so again if we make some more routes so copy pasting it here and let's say that this time we need to get let's say message and inside this if we want to let's say that within h3 tag welcome to let's say message route so save this file back to browser open a duplicate tab and instead of 4000 if i type something about message pressing enter and this is all about message file
So successfully guys, we had discussed and seen about that how can we create a web server as well as how we can listen about routes to a particular port using happy.js framework. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.